beautiful places are almost alive. When you visit them, you can feel their breaths. Panabo, also known as Banana Capital of the Philippines, is located between the two crowded cities, namely the city of Davao and Tagum. It has 40 barangays and occupies a land area of 25,123 hectares. As of today, the city has a population of 184,559 and 43,123 households. It is called the banana capital of the Philippines because the majority of the business in the city is about the production of bananas. Around 40% of its land was used for banana plantation. The planted bananas have a quality perfect for exportation and is known as Cavendish Bananas. How did Panabo City arrive at this point? Let's discuss more about its history. Long before the rich lowland was discovered by civilization, a group of stocky-haired aborigines called Aetas have already staked a claim and declared the place as their own. The Aetas are uncivilized people. They coexisted with wild animals and they lived a nomadic life. They have a signature weapon used for hunting wild animals. They call it Panna Saboboy, which is bow and arrow in the current knowledge. It is their most essential tool and it became a part of their lives. At the beginning of the 20th century, Christian settlers began descending in the area. Due to this, the Aetas evacuated and moved further up in the hinterlands. But they left a legacy as they are responsible for the name the city beers, Panabo, which came from the name of their essential tool, Pana sa Boboy. By that time, Panabo was already a thriving trading community known as Tabua, which means trading center. In earlier times, Panabo was a barangay of Tagum City until 1949. The Presidential Proclamation No. 236 of President Manuel A. Rojas declared Panabo as a town on July 19, 1949. Many years later, Panabo was transformed into the banana capital of Asia. It became a city in 2001. The known tourist spot in the city is the Freedom Park, located at the heart of the city near the bus station along the main road. The park features a sculpture of a distinctive banana-inspired fountain, which was sculpted by a world-class artist named Kublai Milan. Araw ng Panabo, an annual celebration in Panabo City, usually held from March 20 to 31. This is an event celebrated to honor Panabo becoming a component city. During these days, a series of civic and multicultural shows will take place, as well as presentations that embody and embrace the beauty that is found only in Panabo. There is no place like home, Panabo City.